Just don't lose an eye. <laughs> well, I lost one of my cameras, so I lost one eye, uh, Trelu. Um, oh, okay, you're streaming yourself. Well, very nice. Have a great stream. What are you streaming today? Boo! Surprise visit! Hi, Regina. Karma, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's for, uh, for earlier this week, Maddie. I was over at um, Trey Noob's uh, stream. He was playing a game and he listened to me. And then he was, uh, well, his eye was poked out in the game. So yeah, only one cam is. Uh... What Harry, pa uh, Harry Potter says you have to build. I've got um, Hagrid's heart. And I've got, um, how do you call it? Uh, ex yeah, Patronus. Expectant Patronus? Yes, Expectant Patronus. Expecto Patrono. No. I'm not saying it right, I know Maddie. <laughs> how are we guys? Well, we had a bit of a rough start today, um, Regina. Some technical difficulties. We had um, a cam, uh, a face cam normally, and a build cam. And they both. Hey guys, welcome to Build and Chat. Um, so, apparently, um, I uh, I had popped into another streamer's channel to, to say hi, and uh, you guys could hear it. That was um, Tiny Bricks. He's streaming some Lego building right now. So, I mean, if you're not in the mood for terrain, he's doing some, some cool builds with some Lego bricks. So, hey, Prodigy, how are you? Yeah, he's from Netherlands, I believe. So, yeah, I like I like his accent too. It's fun to listen to. He's a neat guy, he, and he's uh, he deserves some people following him too. So, if you get a, ever get a chance to check him out, he's he's really fun. He's been here quite a bit. Um, so today. We are going to try something very new. I've never done anything like this before. I've never seen it done. I'm just, I just thought up, hey, this might work and let's have some fun just trying it out. So this could completely suck, but hey, that's art. So we're gonna build a wizard's tower. And what I'm gonna use for the main thing is just an old Pringles can here because round stuff is uh, notoriously hard terrain to build. Uh, especially if you're doing like stone, but yeah, experimental art, that's right. Um, but I think I figured out a way around that. Um, so I'm gonna use this for the, the primary structure. And then I've got a bigger uh, oatmeal canister that's gonna be kind of the top. I mean, we're gonna be doing some cutting down and stuff. I'm just not gonna stick them together, but it's gonna be kind of the top bit that gets wider. Uh, and this is nice because it's got a cardboard interior so I can just cut a hole here and A, it gives us kind of a platform here so it's already fleshed out. B, it gives us something to glue to this so I can just stick this in here and glue it down. That'll make it easier and then we'll cut some, some length off here and then we'll figure out how to make a roof and all that jazz. Also, uh, what I want to do, so the image I have in my head is to... 
kind of make this wizard's tower coming up out of a um, like a, a rock face. So it's going to have some, kind of some rocks kind of almost growing around it and just kind of jutting up out of that because you know wizard's towers are you know created by magic so it's not like you have to follow a whole lot of building standards and codes and stuff so also I have my coffee this morning so maybe I won't have so many problems with the speakings my brain will be working a little better maybe probably not but maybe anyway um, so that's gonna be the main tower and then I've got we're gonna I'm usually you know a good wizard's tower will have a little side tower poking off but it's not gonna be as big so I'm probably gonna use like a this paper towel roll and just stuff it with something to give it some structure because it's not terribly structural uh, and use this for like a side tower and stuff and maybe build some stuff off of that we'll see how it goes I'm I mean I'm really just kind of gonna be loosey-goosey with this and um, just you know hey wherever it goes it goes um, I've just got kind of a very general idea and then we'll just kind of build on it as we go I don't do a lot of planning typically which is why you guys see me you know 10 minutes into the stream I have to get up and run out to the garage because I don't have all my stuff <laughs> that's just how it is um, so what we're gonna do here I'll see I'm getting um, glue all over my table so first thing is I have to kind of figure out how tall I want this so let's get some general scale I mean wizards towers are pretty tall but if we ever want to use it in the on the D&D streams it's gonna to have to be you know not so tall that you can't see it in the camera so I'm thinking if we have some rock come this will probably be sitting up like this because we'll have I'm gonna make the foundation out of some one inch foam so this stoof or this maybe one and a half inch foam actually I think so we'll probably be cutting a little of this and this will sit down a little bit in it so that I can kind of grow it around there but this will give us a general idea of scale so if we make this let's see maybe maybe we want the overall height to be about this so we're going to want to bring our um, I think second story thing the little piece that jumps out maybe down to about here because we don't want a really tall um, second piece so let's see where's my maca I'd like a maca I don't have a maca I have a punzel I'm gonna mark very well here but all right Pringles man you're gonna be kind of our our mark here so we're gonna go about mid bow tie with our second story so that's where I want the bottom of the second story I think right about there mid bow tie all right Pringles man you stick around because we're gonna need your bow tie um, then so there's not much I have to do to this I mean it's pretty structural this is pretty thick cardboard it's got some um, kind of aluminum rings on the top and bottom and it's got an aluminum bottom so it's not gonna crush a lot and actually I'll probably put it this way because this has more structure at the top than the open bottom but if this is embedded in some um, foam that'll give it a lot of structure so I don't have to do much to this I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually put holes in it I'll put doors and windows on the outside but they're just gonna be outside things I'm not actually gonna cut into this so this is just gonna be structural and I'm pretty much just gonna leave it like this uh, but since I'm turning it upside down I can't use mr. Pringles bow tie you know what that's that's okay so I want to cut this about this tall so this I do have to cut but we got to kind of mark where we want it and I got to figure out how I'm gonna cut this straight because <laughs> yeah right so I don't know something about like this maybe this really glossy finished stuff so it's kind of hard to draw on 
All right, so we're going to go about that high now. Now, here's the rub. I have got to Oh, Disney's Sword in the Stone. Yeah, that's probably kind of what I have in my head because that's I watched that when I was a kid. But I just kind of had this picture in my head, and this is something I decided I wanted to do because we're going to have a we're going to be our new campaign in a few weeks is going to be um, the um, it's the official D and D campaign for the. Um, Crap, I forgot what it's called. Coffee's not helping. I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway, it's a city. The first half of it is a city campaign, so it's in Waterdeep. Um, Waterdeep Heist, I think it's called. So, I mean, we're going to have a lot of city stuff, and what city, what good D&D city is complete without a wizard's tower? So I decided I needed a wizard's tower. Also, while we're waiting on dry time on this thing, I'm going to be, I've got another couple of projects that we're going to be working on, which are some ruins. I'm going to make some castle ruins, and I'm going to make some um, city house ruins. So we're just going to kind of work on those as we've got dry time sitting for other things. So we do have several projects to work on here. Now, how am I going to do this straight? Uh, I need, what do I need? What do I really need? Well, one thing I need is to get this paper off the outside. So let's just, we know we want to be about here. So this will mark the inside where we want to be. So we've got our heart height. Nope. Not helping with the languaging any. The speakings are having problems. Cut this off of here because this is going to end up being just kind of in the way. I'll do this down here so it's not right all up in the mic. Okay, now there's the mark I put. Okay. Um. So already this looks way better. Um, I think I think what I'm going to have to do is actually measure this so that I'm not trying to eyeball it because then I can get it pretty close. It doesn't have to be super super good because we're going to be putting a roof over that with an overhang so but we don't want it way off now my s one serious problem is I have no idea where my ruler is there's one of those lack of planning things I think it's probably outside <laughs> of course I um all right so Is this? this is three inch. <gasps> Look at that. That's that's exactly what I need. It's exactly the height I need. All right, so I just need to measure and mark around where this is because that's the height I want. Apparently, we're doing three inches, and that's exactly where I cut. How good am I? Yep. Where the lip is here, not where the top is. We're just going to make some marks around here. This is awkward to hold. So then all I have to do is get straight between the marks, and that I can do. That'll be close enough. Am I going to put you to sleep, Prodigy? How are you doing today? Is your arm all better?
I think I'm recovered from the airport fiasco. Uh, not so much that I ever want to get in a plane again, but I'm better. We do have... Um, distract no I well, I mean I know you're up at you know god awful in the morning so I just thought maybe you know it's about time for people to be tired but um, yeah we've got a a bit of a cold running through the house um, the girls were gone last week because of um, <laughs> yeah for normal people they were they were um, out doing mission work with my sister and they came back with some germy germs and now mrs. noob is feeling really crappy this morning I think the girls are close to getting over it but um, Rhiannon's getting it Diane started with it and more than likely I'm going to get it, but maybe I'll get lucky. I've been trying to stay out of people's faces. Um, but we'll just have to see how it goes. But Mrs. Noob is over there all, all snuffly and sniffy and, and just feeling crummy. So I think this is going to be one of the most challenging parts of this project, is just getting this thing cut up. Hey, Sid! Prodigy wishes you well, Mama Noob. Thank you. It looks dangerous? Yes, it does. But what fun is life without a little danger, right? No, I'm being I'm being extremely careful. I'm not pushing very hard. I'm letting the blade do the work. Because where you run into issues with blades is trying to force them through stuff. If you let them do the work, uh, you generally don't have a lot of problems. Also, I'm keeping my fingers very far away from any path that the, this could have. So, safety tip, kids. Always, in fact, kids, don't play with these kind of knives. Get your parents to do it. Let them cut their fingers off. You're a forcer. I am not. I try to keep pretty sharp blades and I'll go several swipes at stuff with light pressure and let the blade do the work. That way I don't slip very much. It takes a lot of patience, but honestly, I'd rather be patient than thumbless. Maybe that's just me. much smarter. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe more experienced than you, because <laughs> I have cut myself many, many times. And I've learned, don't force it. Just keep your knife sharp and let them do the work. And they won't do you wrong. Alright, so I've got that. Now, we're going to get a little hole in the bottom. This is going to be much easier to, to gauge because I've got a template here. And we're going to try to get this fairly tight, I think. The problem is this little lip here is wider than the actual body, so I've got to cut inside that lip and just try to... F I'm going to try to force it on here over that lip and see if I can get away with... Now this is really thin cardboard, so this shouldn't take a lot of cutting. I mean, it's going to take a couple, because the first one, um, I'm just trying to get a starter groove, because I'm not actually cutting on the line. I'm trying to cut a little inside. Oh, the, oh thanks. Which, which terrain? I don't know, my wife, I'm not even sure what's up there, because uh, Wendy does all the... I just put it on the sporting. It's oh. your 
new bridge for D and D that you did up there. Oh. And the market. I did the market. Oh, cool. And I did. There was like a wheelbarrow I threw in and a few of your minis. Oh, thanks. And a flame. What are those ones that stand up? Torches. <laughs> With them. <laughs> so so messed up. And just like one torch. I just try to throw in a few examples. I think I'm gonna put it up every time. Well, Sid enjoyed the picks. So, that, yeah, my wife, Wendy, does all that because I just really don't have the patience for social media stuff. <coughs> Honestly, I'd rather be here talking to people than typing because having a profession as a programmer, I have to type all the time anyway, so it's not something I want to do in my spare time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sid. Appreciate that. So we're going to see, this is all going to be just completely experimental stuff. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but you know what? That's all the fun. So we're going to want this on the top. Let's see how we did here. Can I squeeze that in there? Come on. Got it. <laughs> all right, so now there is kind of the basis for a wizard's tower and we've got a nice base under here so we don't have to worry about filling this up so that worked out pretty well I just got to glue this fortunately I've got this handy little tool that'll help me with that problem is I can't get down in there go away glue lump um, well that's that's a little aggravating. I could glue down here, but I kind of want to... Well, no, that'll work because this is going to get covered up anyway. I'm going to be using some... As long as I don't make huge blobs, this will be okay. And I can always stick some white glue on the inside just to kind of reinforce it, but this will make it so that I don't have things sliding around on me. Kind of feel like I'm caulking a bathtub here. The way I'm having to lay this bead. All right, let's make sure we don't have any big globs. I can deal with spider webs, that's fine. All right, and then so I'm just gonna put some, yeah, I'm gonna make a wizard tower uh, because we've got um, Water deep heist coming up in a few weeks, and what what city adventure would be complete without a wizard's tower? Plus, it turns into um, the the dungeon of 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 oh, what's his name? The Mad Wizard. Can't think of his name right off. But anyway, so. Morden Canaan. Uh, no, it's um, that's not it. I can't. I'll have to look it up in a minute. Let me get this glue done, and I will look. It's it's an official D and D campaign. We're not. We don't have time for homebrew, unfortunately. So, um. <laughs> Oh, Morden Kane is the Mad Mage in Strahd. No, it's uh, it's the one in the Waterdeep heist, the second half of the Waterdeep heist campaign. Uh, the Mad Mage, um, God, I can't think of his name. And since it's a Mad Mage, I am gonna want this tower to be kind of weird and and you know bendy and and not exactly straight and well kind of already made a mess of it a little bit but so it's already a little tilted because you know gravity but that's cool because I'm gonna make it a little weird yeah I don't know I mean power just corrupts your brain I guess um, all right so 
So now I just threw some white glue in there. It's a mess, but it's it's got enough in those cracks that it'll just kind of help reinforce it. That's all I'm looking for. I mean, it's got, you know, um, glue down here, so it's not going anywhere. It's pretty stuck on there now. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is get a rough out for the base. Yes, I think Halister is the one. The Mad Mage Halister. That's I think that's what the second half of that adventure centers on, is his dungeon. But we gotta have his tower, because I mean he didn't always live in a dungeon, right? Alright, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna have a little base and I'm gonna have this kind of growing out uh, the base is gonna be kind of growing out of some rock or maybe rock growing around it where where the magic just kind of sprung it up out of the rock right never too many towers so what I want to do is just kind of get a, a rough size for the base I don't want it to be huge but I want to have enough to where I can kind of shape a little bit of the bottom so I'm just gonna slice up some two inch foam here. This isn't the sharpest of knives, but that's okay. And then we'll do a little, a bit of carving and stuff. Let's get it kinda square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but kinda square is good. See, once again, I just kind of let the knife work. And if it takes me four or five passes to cut, that's okay. And this is a cheap knife, too. It's a dollar store knife, so... Just don't put your fingers behind it, and you won't you won't lose fingers. This is an easier cut because it's with the grain, so okay, that should be enough, I think. There we go. All right, so that's roughed out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out a little bit in here to sink this tower into some. So, let's get this marked out. Now, I'm not going to sink it all the way in, but I want a good good bit sunken in. Because then we can kind of carve around it. Alright, so. And this is going to be really rough. It's fine. It's going to be rocks, so it doesn't have to be smooth. We don't want it smooth. All right. Oh, I just, I, I do not like the sound of cutting foam. It really drives me crazy, but you know, the sacrifices you make for your art, right? It's just what you have to do. Probably sitting here making funny faces because I'm concentrating. So you guys can make, feel free to make fun of my faces. It's okay. I know they're weird. Oh, I'm out of smart juice. That's sad. All right, so I need to start slicing this away. So this is, this gets a little tricky here. What I usually will do when I'm trying to slice this out is kind of cut it into little strips here because it kind of makes it a little bit easier to, to gouge out. So if you can get, it's kind of like a pie. When you get the first one out, the rest of them become a lot easier. 
but the first cut of a pie is always just kind of a pain in the butt to get out. I don't know where that went, but oh. but that was fun. So we have some doggies here. Um, we've got two standard poodles. One of them's 10 months old and it's huge. And then we've got little Lambo, or the Shih Tzu that comes and stays all the time. And the 10 month old and Lambo were not having fun together. They were, the 10 month old is just a little much for Lambo and he was kind of freaking out. And so they've been fighting a little, but the, the poodles are leaving at noon today. So they will, um, That won't be a problem too much longer. We're just kind of keeping them separated. Lambo's upstairs with one of the girls. And, and so it's all good. But none of them are here to be on camera today. I mean, not around me. The poodles are sleeping now because the 10-month-old just, like a toddler, plays a lot, sleeps a lot. And gets up, plays a lot, then sleeps a lot. Drives her older sister nuts. Mm. But you should say what a good ten month old she is. Oh yeah, for a ten month old dog she's really well behaved. She I mean act like she's 10 months lots of energy and you know, she has some things that she still needs to be taught. She but try to get on the I mean she could just get but, on the table. Yeah. She doesn't try to get on the table. She doesn't try to steal crap. food. She does she's not. Alright, see ya Sid. Have a great day. Well, I'm sure this is really riveting TV watching me dig a hole out of foam, but, you know, it's got to be done. I could probably get this e done easier with a Dremel, but... That makes a huge mess inside. So if I was going to do that, I'd have to go out in the garage. And that's just not something I really want to do today because it's summer in Florida and it's really hot. I mean, like, melt your face hot. <coughs> so we'll just keep digging here. It'll get done. We'll just have some chats. this side cut it out a bit oh I'm gonna have to do a cleaning session when I get done here before I go too much further because I got foam everywhere now see, these bendable knives are really good because I can, these long bladed knives, because I can actually bend them. Now you have to be careful because the blades can snap, so you don't want to bend it too far, but you can actually bend them to kind of get them underneath stuff and, and cut it out. So these knives are pretty good for this kind of thing. So let's see how we're doing here. We are... That's a good size because it's nice and tight there, and it's gonna get uh, it's gonna keep this thing really stable, and we can kind of shave around it and sculpt it a bit. So that's good. But I want it a little bit deeper. So we'll make it a little bit deeper. Actually could just cut all the way through it, but I, I don't really want to. 
because that's gonna it'll lose a lot of stability if I do that. out of there so I have something to cut against uh, oh prodigy guess what we had for lunch yesterday no day before I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> you know what I'm talking about no I don't in and out uh, no we don't have any in and outs around here at all. No, we don't. Not not down here in the south. We had not a wolf. we had five guys. <laughs> That's right. Big old five guys burger. Yum yum. Yeah, burgers and fries. Nope. Actually we didn't get fries. Just the burger. We got healthy sides at Chick-fil-A because the girls got milkshakes at Chick-fil-A. <coughs> Yeah, Not we're doing. Could have gotten it five guys, but yeah. So Wendy and I got some salad and and fruit instead of fries because we're trying to do a little bit better with our eating. The girls got fruit. And the girls got fruit, and um, but I mean, you can't pass up a five guys burger. I mean, no, it's not health food, but whatever. Yeah, healthy, haha. -ha. Who needs healthy, right? Well, it kind of becomes more important as you get older. I'm starting to find out. My old body is just starting to get angry with me about stuff. So I'm having to start to eat a little bit better. Or be in pain all the time. Those are my choices, really. Hot Milo. I thought you were going to get tea. You still call that a cuppa? What's Milo? <coughs> Juice. Oh, oh, like kind of like the Whoppers candy, but. Um, but a drink. Gotcha. <sighs> All right, so we've got a nice big hole here. Let's see how this fits. I don't think it's getting all the way down there. I think I gotta cut out the sides a little bit. Yeah. Just just a bit. No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, but I, I had to <laughs> I was in there and I heard you and I took too long to get into it. Oh, chat, my wife. Oh, my goodness. She's something else. Anything I am, you cause. I know. I was just, she was a good girl until I got hold of her, and now she's just a mess. I messed her all up. But what are you going to do? I mean, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right, right? All right, now, there we go. All right, so that's close to the bottom, but it's a nice, nice wizard tower. I think that'll be good scale for height. We can make something out of that and we'll, we'll carve some rocks. All right, so. This has got to get glued. So, so I'm just going to blob a bunch of glue down in here. Boop. 
because I really don't care about pretty. It can just be a dump of glue. I'm going to need another glue stick. All right, so that's in there pretty good. I can feel the heat of that glue through the bottom of this. That's how close I got. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to stop here for just a second with the building and do a bit of cleaning because I've got a, a huge mess here. So, what are we going to chat about while I'm cleaning? So, let's see. What can we, All right, this fan isn't helping. Hold on a second. Because every time I sweep it around, it just blows it out again. Calm down, fam. Okay. There we go. That's better. Let's not stick my finger on the end of my glue gun. That would that would suck. I mean, look at this mess I've made. I need I really need a bag to put all this junk in. What's that? Oh, I need that. Don't throw that away. Yeah, big ouch. Especially since this is a high temp gun, it gets pretty hot. I used to have a low temp gun because I didn't want to burn the, melt the foam and stuff, but the problem is low temp guns give you about half a second to work with the stuff before it's too hard to work with so it just wasn't enough time like I couldn't have done what I just did with a low temp gun it would have dried by the time it was I was ready to put that can in uh, so um, hey uh, wonderful lovely assistants uh, other wonderful lovely assistant I just need a bag to put my trash in. Get this stuff out of my way. Well, give him a minute. All right, so we are gonna go. So I'm gonna make some rough cuts on this while I'm waiting for a bag to get rid of that thing. Just kind of shave things down a little bit to start carving out some rock. kind of get basic shapes going. And again, I'm not trying to be pretty here. I'm just trying to get rough shapes out because, you know, rocks. Do I know what it's supposed to look like? Nope. Do I have a plan? Nope. Do I care? Nope. I'm also going to build up on the sides with some other stuff too, so it's not just going to be flat in there. I'm going to take some stuff and kind of build up on the sides, but so I'll keep a, some of these chunks because they might be useful. Some of the bigger chunks that won't just fly around as little bits. Yep, yep. Hey, stop that. Hot glue spider webs. <clears throat> so it's looking a little more like um, something, I suppose. Don't worry, Chad. This is going to end up looking a lot better. We're just getting started here. We got a ways to go. So don't don't worry about it, Chad. I know I know you're really stressing about it right now, but don't just don't. Okay, I promise it's going to be good. what I'm going to do is maybe put 
Wow, I'm just shaking the whole table with this. Good grief. I think I'll maybe see about putting maybe some windy stairs that start in the rocks and kind of go up to the main entry door, which will be a little above because, you know, Wizard's Tower made with magic doesn't, you know, not built on the ground and stuff. So that might be fun. So I don't want to cut away too much of this. All right, so now we need to cut some shape into it. So I'm just cutting some wedges out just to give it some some depth. Come on. There. And you could do this with hot wire cutters, but I don't have a little portable one, and a knife is fine. This isn't that big a project, so and a lot of people use hot wire cutters for this. I actually, when I'm building rock terrain and stuff, I don't really like using hot wire cutters because it makes too smooth of a cut, and I just don't, I don't, that's not the way I want mine to look. I mean, there's lots of people that do it, and they look fine, but I'm, I just go after a different look, and I can't do that with a hot wire cutter. So I've never bothered to get a little hand hot wire cutter because I don't, just don't use them. I, you know, learned using other stuff, and I just prefer to do it this way. But hot wire cutters will make short work of this job, and lots of people like them, and that's perfectly fine. Well, I just needed a little, uh, a little bag. Thanks. She's trying to bring me like a big, tall kitchen bag. Um, I don't need that much. Oi! Ugh. All right. So this is starting to look a bit rocky. Rocky and Bullwinkle? Wait, what? No. Right? Well, no. I don't like that sharp point. That's just going to get broken. Thank you, my dear. bag or trash some of this junk out of my way Now I've got a little bit of room to work here. All right. So, um, let's see here. So we'll just keep cutting bits out of this until we think it looks like it's supposed to look. What is that? I don't know. I mean, something like this and that and, and some other stuff and right. Let's just get basic shape. We're gonna actually do a bit more carving and shaping here, but. This will get us in the general area, and that's kind of the point here. All right, so I'm reasonably happy with that for a starting place. So what we want to do now 
is make a big old mess. Here comes the big old mess. So I've just got a little tiny bit of blade showing here and I'm just going to kind of scrape away some bits because it will kind of chunk it up and, and make it not so nice and flat. We don't want nice and flat because these are rocks. So we're basically just kind of making a mess in here. We're just trying to mess it up and make it not flat. So I've just got a little corner of the blade sticking out there, just dragging it through, doing some with the grain and some against the grain because it'll make it pull differently and we'll get some interesting shapes out of it. Especially these places where I've cut and stuff because we don't want it to look too perfect so we'll dig out a little bit of those every once in a while so we're basically just sculpting here which is you know kind of fun sure right it's fun isn't it If you're not having fun with it, you're just not doing it right. That's what she said. Wait, what? No, I didn't say that. I promise I didn't say that, chat. You didn't hear that from me. So we're just kind of dragging and we're not really cutting. We're just dragging and pulling to just let stuff come away so it looks kind of natural. And this kind of foam is kind of good at that because it'll it'll come out in little chunks sometimes, depending on which way the grain is. But, you know, you can dig out little chunks and stuff and it doesn't. Another way I've seen this done that I don't generally do, but just because I like using a knife, but a lot of times people just take some pliers and kind of pinch it and pull and that that does a decent job but I just have I just find I have better control with a knife but some people are really good with the pliers like that I mean kind of the same result I just I think I just like this better so you know personal preference whatevs Oh, the 10 month old has gone bananas. She's running around the house attacking her sister. So Prodigy, what kind of art stuff have you been working on lately? Yeah, that's good. Cool. Trying to sketch a lot more. Oh, speaking of which, hey, do you think you'll be able to do those um, the D and D portraits for us? Because that'd be really cool. But I'll have to. We're coming up on that in probably the next three or four weeks, and I'm just wondering if you're going to have time for that, or if I should plan something else. Because I know that's a lot of work, and it's not something you can just sit down and whip out in half an hour. Well, maybe you can. I saw what you did in 15 minutes, but... Okay, cool. Do I need to send you some... Um... 
descriptions again because we talked about them one time but uh, I never Two, three, four, five. Yep, five of us. That's it. Those are the peeps. Also, <laughs> and Diane doesn't spell her name that way either. You ought to see how we spelled that. That's quite the trip. Tell you, tell you. Uh, hey, Diane. What? Prodigy wants to to see how you spell your name. Can you go put it in the chat? And spell Rhiannon's too. Okay. She's gonna put it in the chat, Prodigy. Because we're weird parents and we did weird things to our kids. Actually, there's a reason for it. So that name, Diane, is actually my wife's middle name. That's how they spelled it. So that actually came from her parents. Yeah, I know. Um, came from her parents, and they named her after a um, singer in the mostly in the seventies. Named Diane Carroll, and that's how she spelled her name. So I'm pretty sure that's where it all came from because there's no other family history of that name. So it's just my wife's middle name got passed down to our second goober. But and <laughs> nobody ever has a chance of spelling that right, and very few people have a chance of pronouncing it right unless we tell them what it is. So, I don't know, we've kind of doomed our child to a life of, of confusion, but but what, what else is a parent for? So when she was younger, I wanted to just call her D, but my wife wouldn't have it. So, you know. actually love sketchy I mean I like the, the finished product too but I love having this like the original sketch artwork I maybe because I'm a huge comic book fan and you know grew up loving just seeing the sketches that comic books were made from and wanting to have some of those to hang up I just like the original like pencil sketches and stuff I just think that's really cool where you can see all the sketch lines and and you know what went into thinking about it and where they changed things and 
It's just interesting to me. I think that's looking reasonably rocky, right? I think that'll that'll do pretty well for that. I and mean, there's more stuff that's going to go into it, but we're getting some base. And there's other things I need to do before we do more on the rocks here. But we've got that part done. 20 minutes. I will give you all the time you need, Prodigy. Oh my gosh. That puppy is so nuts when she plays. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but... Alright, so now... I was really unsure how I was going to deal with because I want this to be like a stone tower and with you know if you do a square tower out of foam it's easy you just draw the bricks in and stuff but when you're doing a round tower you can't really do that I've got nothing to draw here that I can paint over and um, and I, I just wasn't sure what to do but then I remembered I have this stuff, this thin craft foam, which we were making roads out of. So I know you can draw in it because we were making those cobblestone roads, Caitlin was. And you can wrap it around here. So this is perfect. So we're going to wrap some of this around here and the top. And then we can carve our stonework into it. So how awesome is that? We just got to get, uh, get it measured up here. Uh, I want to make this a little long because I can always trim it back. So I am, in fact, going to need my ruler. So we want it there. So I'm going to need to... All right, chat. I'm going to have to run and grab my ruler. I'll be right back. I promise I won't get lost. I'm still here, chat. Don't worry. Still here. I got my ruler. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm coming, chat. I got it. And I didn't get lost in the, the maze of the garage. So it's all good. I'm back. Don't worry. Here I am. All right. Now we can measure things. All right. So what do we want here? Uh, metric might work better. This way. Where are we at? All right, so six centimeters. That's a cut edge, though. Maybe we ought to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, you thought I'd never return. I know, I know, you missed me. It's hard being without me, I know. It's a rough, rough thing. Rough, rough. Oh my gosh. That puppy. She plays hard. She's nuts. But, I mean, that's what puppies are, right? And that's great because that wears her out. And then she takes a nap for an hour. Then she gets up and goes nuts for 30 minutes. Then she takes a nap for an hour. All right. 
right. So now we can get this cut. Should I just use scissors for this? That's easier. Don't you come over here, you crazies. You'll knock over all my stuff. Good news is her sister's not, she's older, but she's only a couple years old, so she's got enough energy to play with her and keep her occupied. So that's good. All right, so we're going to see how, I've never done this before. We're going to see how this works for this craft foam stuff. It might not be as good as I think it's going to be, but, you know, if you never try, you never find out. All right, right, chat? That's what I say. Okay, so now that we've got the right height, to get this part trimmed down. Yeah, this is working out all right. Good, 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 good. All right, so where do we want to cut this? I'm going to cut it a little long because if I'm too short, then I'm going to have a mess. So. I can always trim a bit off if I need to. So I want to be about I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with this seam too, because it's gonna be quite the seam. And I don't really want it. Okay, so here. It's a little wide, but that's all right. We can trim it down once we get it on. Get it mostly glued. All right, so what do we got here? We have 20 and a half. So 25, no, 200 and, what's that? My metrics first, yeah, 205 mil. My multiplying by tens is really rusty. I'm much better with stupid imperial units. Like fractions. Durr. Oh no, your stream froze. Is it on my end? Do I need to do something? I think it was this side, wasn't it? Don't worry, I'll stay here, Prodigy. If you can hear me, I'm still here. Anybody else having stream freeze problems? Is it my stream or is it local? Uh-oh. Stream won't load. That's not good. That's going to work. I'm going to have to trim the edge, but that is going to work out rather well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. You got it back. Good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one end of this clamped down with some hot glue. Oh, no. I'm going to run out of glue stick here. I'm going to have to leave again and get some more glue stick. Okay, we'll be here. You're not going to miss much. I'm just gluing foam on. Oh, crud. Just got that all messed up. One thing about hot glue is you gotta you gotta go a little fast so you don't have time to be terribly careful, but but the upside is it's pretty much immediately dry, so you don't have to like white glue, this would take I'd have to leave this sit for a couple hours before I started doing anything else to it. Ugh. 
Oh, well, hope it's better. Hope it sticks around. Don't want you to have to leave, Prodigy. Okay, so I'm gonna have some some seam things to deal with, but overall, I think this is gonna this is gonna work out. All right, so I've got one end clamped down. I am going to have to oh, eh, uh, oi. Um. Hey, Diane. Could you do me a big old favor? Yeah. Could you run upstairs and sitting on my um, that dresser where all my craft stuff is are some big long glue sticks? Yeah. Could you? There's a bag of them. Can you just bring me the bag? I should probably have them down here anyway. Glue sticks. On the next to the table where all my craft stuff is. You know that big bookcase dresser thing. Okay, it should be sitting on there. I just saw them this morning. It's a big bag of them. Thanks. Love you lots. All right, so we're just going to keep hot gluing this down with kind of strips. I don't need to go nuts here. I don't want a lot of loose places, though. Can you hot glue those sticks? Yes. Oh, sorry. No, hot glue, hot glue sticks. Ooh, speaking of hot glue, that's hot. I was like, why would there be a bag? I've never seen glue sticks in a bag. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this should be enough chat, right? I think you're set for like the next. These belong down here anyway. I'm moving my operations down here from my bedroom. So I might get my bedroom back one day. Oh, hot glue fingernail. Cool. Just what I always never wanted. What do you want, Doofy? Doofy Pup is looking at me. So we're just going to use quite a bit of hot glue here, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Except I ran out. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we're cooking. We're going to do this in little sections so that it sticks well and we can make sure it's reasonably flat. I'm not terribly concerned because it's, you know, stone and it's going to be all mucky and messy and, and goofed around, but I don't want huge lumps. So I don't mind if it's bumpy, but huge and lumpy. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Uh, not really what I want. So, Actually better than I had expected it to not knowing what I was getting myself into here I was worried that this was gonna be just a giant nightmare but it really isn't too bad it's going going pretty well I approve this technique
That is a whole lot of hot glue, but hey, hot glue is cheap, right? All right, so we're going to give this a minute to dry, and then I'm going to trim up the edge here. In the meantime, I just want it dry when I start trimming so that when I pull things back, it doesn't mess them up. But this will be good. So now I've got that covered. Now i got to do the top. Ta -ha. Hot glue. All right, so I have to get a new piece out here. Don't you sneak through here. We got that gate up for a reason, you little goober. So obviously we're going to have to put a roof on this of some type, but that's that's later. Let's get the base done first. So I need this on here. I'm wondering if I should wrap it up under. Would that be a good idea? That's going to be a little tricky. I think what I'll do is just not worry about that. Uh, you guys can't see a thing I'm doing, can you? All right, so let's see how tall we need. What? You're not supposed to be back here. What are you doing back here? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can do it. Come up here. No, they want to see you. They want to say hi. Come here. Come here, Goofus. No, don't lick my leg. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. This is Mindy. Say hi, Mindy. Say hi, Mindy. Hello. Hello, puppers. Hello, puppers. Oh, Misty, you want to say hi, too? Come here. Come here. Hey, Misty. All right, Misty, give your sister some room. Hello, that's Misty. Hello. You say hi. <laughs> yeah, two puppies. The first one, the black one, is the one that's 10 months old. She's much bigger than this one. This one's a couple years old. But she's so lovey, aren't you? You just love getting your face scratched, huh? And you're just a goof. You're a big goof. All right, you guys get back out. What? What? I gotta do my work. I gotta do work. Yeah, Misty gives people hugs. All right. Get on down. Yes, I love you, but I thought, yeah, now you're stuck in here because you went sneaking in here when you weren't supposed to, you goober. Oh, she's like laying on me. <laughs> you're not a lap dog. You're too big to be a lap dog. I'm sorry, but you're too big. You're too big. You can't sit up here. I'm very sorry. You have to leave soon. Yeah. Apparently I'm yummy. Okay. I gotta go do my stuff now. So let's see, we want this, okay, so this one's got to be a little bit, well, I guess it doesn't matter, we're going to put a roof on it so it can hang over just a touch. It doesn't need to be perfect, nothing on here needs to be perfect, whatever, whatever. All right, so we're at eight. Eight centimeters. I'll go eight centimeters. Sure. Works for me. I hope this is... Eh, it shouldn't be long enough to go all the way around there. This will actually be a little bit easier to deal with than the underneath one. I won't have the underneath one in or the anything in my way. Uh, hair length or style does Wendy's... Oh, let me... I think her... her Here. Here is her mini that I've started working on. And it's got kind of little bob cut. And she wants the, you know, her hair color, like natural auburn red. Not the, not the ginger red, but like the auburn red, the dark red is what she does. But yeah, her character has kind of this little bob cut type thing, which I think is cute. 
She actually had one like that years ago, and I, I really liked it. It looked cute on her. sure I actually cut this right. I think so. That'll work. So we'll glue that on then trim it up when we're done. So yay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and get one side started here. Make sure it's straight. go. That was a little off the end there, so let's tack that down a little better and see if we can not burn my fingers, because that would be awesome. Thanks. All right. Let's also see if we can not burn the because it's a hot glue gun. All right. So this hot glue and the foam is also going to help with the structural rigidity of these cardboard pieces. I mean, they're pretty good because it's thick cardboard, but this layering of this stuff helps too. I mean, like, you know, plywood is layered and it's that's what makes it strong. So this will help. And also, because it's... Um, Hot glue is is kind of plastic based, plasticky. It's it's got some flexibility to it, so it won't crack. So that'll help keep this piece going pretty good. I got a little gloppy down there. And still, we're just doing this in little, little batches so that we don't end up with dried glue that I can't press into, because that would suck. stick here. Good grief. Ow. Hot glue. Hot, hot, hot. Ow. Probably should have tried to get the seams on the same side, but like an idiot, I didn't think about that. But you know what? I did that on purpose so that, you know, sure. 
we'll go with that. All right, so now we're going to trim this up. This is stuck down pretty good. So let's see if I can. Hmm. I'm going to do this without making a big gap there. I think we're just going to have to eyeball it and hope it works. Actually, what I'm going to do is glue the rest of this down. Probably should have done this before, but I didn't, so I'll do it now. Oops. I think it'll be easier to deal with like that. glued down there at the edge okay uh, let's see here so I've got a really sharp new blade here because I think that's what it's gonna take and I'm just gonna trim off a little bit Good news is it doesn't take much to cut through this stuff with this blade, so I'm not having to put a lot of pressure at them. But I think it's going to take a few swipes to get the right amount off. Because I need to have it meet up pretty exact. Now there probably is a better way I could have done this, but you know what? Winging it is fun. So I've got a good, good connect here. Up here is a little off. So we'll just keep trimming little bits until we get it right. It's cool. So I have really gotten into these high strategy games lately. I've been playing uh, Crusader Kings 2 on a stream. Started streaming that. I'm also playing it during downtime. I am really loving those games. I, don't know, it's, I think it's the way my brain works. Like, Wendy, Wendy really likes the... Um, she loves WoW. She likes adventure games. Um, you know, when we played um, Minecraft, she couldn't stand to sit around and build things or think about things. She just likes to go out and discover. But I'm more of a slow burn strategy type of person. I don't, you know, because she also likes like Apex and, and, um, Um, Overwatch and stuff like that, those fast games. I never really got into those. I, I mean, it just, I've tried to play them. I want to like them, but I just don't, you know? So I had discovered these um, grand strategy games, and I used to, when I was a younger, not a kid, but younger, um, I played like the first Medieval Total War, because, you know, I was around when that came out. I mean, I was around a long time before that came out, but, uh, and I really enjoyed that, but I never, never got deep into it. But now I've discovered these, like the Paradox Interactive games, like Stellaris and Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis and stuff like that. And I've been really, really enjoying those. All right, so this is trimming up okay. I'll have to do some seam hiding. 
So probably what I'll do just to break it up so there's not one long seam is I may put, I'll probably put the door and a window here because that'll hide a lot of it. Yep. All right, so let's get this sliced up. What's the silly question? Yes, they are the twins. I call them research and development, R&D. So anyway, I've also discovered that you know we're having a kind of fun with chat too. We, the last session I did, you know, because you can name the characters and and there's decisions to be made and stuff. And so, um, Prodigy, I hate to tell you this, but in the last session you died of cancer. Um, I tried, I really did. You were the heir, but you died of cancer when you were a child. It was sad. But also, I was listening to Tiny Bricks. He was giving me advice. And uh, I ended up losing an eye because he told me to do something goofy. But hey, you know, if chat wants it, I do's it. Oh, you know, the other thing I could do here is this is where... Because I'm kind of kind of have to work around the base and the shape of the base as to where the door is but this could be where a side thing sticks off and that'll hide a lot of this because it'll it'll have to have some kind of little connector attached so that'll work well so I think we're okay for these and again here I can put windows and stuff because there's a seam but we'll figure out some way I wonder if I can melt this stuff together I mean I'm sure I could. Let's trim this off a bit so it's not I've just got this piece kind of hanging down. I just want to make it flat. Yeah, I barely knew me. I know. Well, that's okay. We'll get we'll get a a um, a descendant named after you. So there will be another prodigy in the house of noob. But we're doing pretty good. We're uh, we're getting well on our way to creating the Kingdom of Wales. I think I'll be able to do that in the next session. And then we can work up towards the Empire of Britannia. And then maybe we'll just take over the whole world. <laughs> the Prodigy Progeny. Uh, this is actually uh, coming out okay. Just smooshing it together. All right, so this is this is good and dried. Let me put my knife away before I stick my hand on it and slice my finger open. Safety first. Prodigy's <laughs> progeny, prodigy, my protege. Ow! Just hurt my tongue. All right, so we just got to draw blocks in here. So I'm gonna just start with the horizontals. We're gonna just draw some cruddy lines you know it doesn't have to be pretty it's gonna be a little hard to see I think because I'm just kinda making depressions in this black foam but but it's gotta be done so you know what are you gonna do so I'm just gonna making depressions in this black foam <laughs> memoir. <laughs> um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm just, you know, drawing the stonework in here before we put, because it'll be easier to do it now than it will be to do it after this is... Boy, I was way off there. Good grief. 
uh, after there's a bunch of stuff around this like windows and things so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now and again this is gonna be kind of a Tower of a Mad Mage, so it's not going to be pretty and precise and stuff. It's going to be all goofed up. And that's perfectly fine. So I'm just I'm just doing real rough stuff here. It's a little bumpy because of the glue underneath. But I'm essentially just making depressions in the foam. I'm depressing the foam. Probably my viewers. Oh, leg. Come on. Work with me here. I make you super happy? Well, good. I'm glad. I like making people happy. I'm glad I get to be a happy part of your life, Prodigy. Well, good. Yeah, I, I like it, too. I really look forward to, to Saturdays when I can hang out with you guys. It's fun. It's fun getting to know people and having new friends and and learning about what's going on in your worlds and okay don't worry Chad I think just two more of these and we'll be done with this then we then we gotta do the top well I'll do the verticals down here before I do the top <laughs> you got auto modded prodigy. <laughs> Dinkum. I forgot what I forgot what you said that means. Like fair dinkum. I mean I know that I've heard the, the saying but I forgot what the specific meaning is. I'm not sure I would use it properly if I tried to use it. I mean, it's not like... I always used to think it was like a little bit, but I don't think that's right, is it? Alright, so... We'll just start drawing some verticals in here. So this isn't difficult, tedious, but not difficult. Stop it, chatbot. Oh. So, I'm trying to think of kind of an American equivalent for that, that type of slang. Well, Southern American, anyway.
Well, yes, there are some really southern things I say, some of which I won't say in, in polite company. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm trying to think of some really southern sayings. Things that I say all the time that aren't necessarily. I mean, y'all is one. That's not something you hear up north. They don't say y'all. Um, it's more use guys. Or you guys. Or use. Um. Let's see, I'm trying to think. What are some good southern terms? Um, hmm. I can't think and draw at the same time. I don't have that kind of brain power. Uh, I think, um, hmm. I'm drawing a blank. I'll have to think on it for a bit. I'm sure my brain will recover here in a minute. I'm really tired this morning. Brain is just not firing on all cylinders. Oh, that's probably one. Firing on all cylinders. I don't hear that much outside the south. And I am just not firing on all cylinders. Oh, you say that too. I'm thinking that Australia is kind of the the kind of the British or the English languages proper English language equivalent of Southern because y'all have a lot of hey Maddie and Tiny Bricks. Uh, well, you know, the eye is recovering, and uh, we're making it through. But yeah, Aussies have that kind of, like Southern, like the Southern U.S., they have that very laid-back language, that, that very relaxed, kind of slow draw. Um, not in a hurry type language and that's kind of what southern in the US kind of is so it kind of strikes me that Australian is 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 kind of a southern the southern equivalent of British English yeah the Alabama of England yeah, my mama was born and raised in Alabama. Well, not born there, but she was raised in Alabama all her life. So I'm very familiar with Alabama. And that is, Alabama is probably the, the quintessential Deep South state. So I am a Deep South boy. Um, very familiar with that kind of thinking and lifestyle. And it's... It's very just laid back, not in a hurry. Don't need to be somewhere right this second. Calm yourself. Relax and enjoy life. And I like that. And it's it, the Australians that I've had the chance to meet and talk to seem to all have that kind of attitude, too. Um which is an attitude I like. Maybe that's why I get along with Australians so well. Um, so how'd your stream go, Tiny Bricks? I wish I could have stayed and, and hung out with you, man, but had to be here.
Oh, cool. You gonna do them in the, the Facebook chat? Okay, as soon as I'm done drawing these, um, bricks. All right, cool. I'll uh I'll go take a look at those. And we'll share them with chat so they can look too. So you can see the uh Prodigy's working on our portraits for our D&D characters for our upcoming campaign, and I'm really excited to see she's got some rough drafts. So I'm really excited to see them. Man, these these blocks are really big. Might be a little too big, but you know what? I don't care. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Prodigy, it's probably going to be a, a matter of your sketches are going to be better than what I had in mind, so I'll just adjust my thinking to your sketches. Wow, those are really big. I may have to, um, no, I'm not gonna worry about it. You know what? Just go with it. This is our fantasy realm. We're gonna do what we want to. It's cool. All right, so let me move this for a minute. And we are going to have a look-see. Yeah, magically big. They are. Yeah, that's right. It's a wizard. I'll do it the way I want to. Uh, Alright, so let me, let me get into Facebook here. Bear with me, chat. I'm going to show you what's, what's coming down the pike here. Uh, can't see my camera's in the way. Oh, I'm in love. All right, hold on, chat. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, chat. Oh, I can't even think straight. These are so awesome. I can't even think about where I want to save them to. My gosh. So you have to get this good name. Bear with me, chat. I'm going to put these up for you. I just got to save them off first so I can load them up into OBS. These are awesome. Let me get. Um... All right, chat, check this out. Look at that. How cool is that? Excuse me, I'm going to move my camera so I can actually see them. It's right in the middle of my monitor here. Wow. That is so cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, that is the best ever. Oh, I think those are brilliant. I'm I I've got 
no changes nope and this is the kind of stuff I love I love these these original pencil sketch things I just love having this stuff I it just it's so cool oh my gosh prodigy you are oh. this is amazing Diane come here and look at this Prodigy started, she sketched out our, she did rough sketches for our D&D. Hey, D. Well, then go look at it on your computer. How are we going on computer? Oh, it's up. It's on the stream, ding dong. Yeah, I just know. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? They actually look like twins. Yeah, she did that in like, like the last 20 minutes. Yeah. Holy moly. She's a freaking genius. Wow. Blue, it's just my sister with pointy ears. <laughs> I just, oh man. I can't wait to see these. I want to, oh my gosh. I just want to, I want to turn our D&D campaigns into a comic book now. <laughs> That's my cover art. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, Prodigy, I'm going to have to get you to do so much for our channel. One of these days, maybe I'll have a job and I can pay you for it. You deserve to be paid for it. I mean, that's an incredible talent. Why is this not what you're doing for a living? I don't, I don't understand how it can't be. I just don't, I don't understand how that's not. Well, I'm glad it makes you feel special. It is special. It's, that's, that's an awesome talent. I mean, I'm just going nuts. Not good enough. All right. Well, listen, all right, listen here, Prodigy. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. I mean, would you want to do that for a living? If you had your choice of any living, would that be it? All right, I'm going to get back to terraining, but I'm leaving that up there. And we'll, we'll talk about this. Let's talk about this. Is that, is that some... Oh, do art for video games? So the drawing art is not not really your preference for a living. Would you rather do drawing art than the job you have now? If you could pay your rent with drawing, would you do that instead? All right, so let me get my scale out here. I mean that's not that's not too bad really. Mm, don't say never. Don't say never. You can make a living doing anything if you work at it. I am living proof of that. You just got to decide you want it and go get it. But I tell you what, I will, I will make sure all kinds of people know about this because girl, I can't, I can't just let you not do this for a living. This is something, this is something that has to be shared with the world. All right, so now what I need to do, yeah, I mean, you should be, I mean, ser seriously, I would, I would in a heartbeat, if I had any money, pay you to make a comic book of our D&D &D campaign. In fact, I will absolutely because I because I have no money to pay you I I mean I'm 
flat broke because I don't have a job. But if you want to take our our D and D campaign and turn it into a comic book, I'll I'll give you the rights to it so that you can make some money off of it, and I'll help you. I'll see if I can help you figure out a way to sell it online or something because I think it's that awesome and I want people to see it and whatever else I can do to help you if there's something you can think of I can do to help you I will do it because you should be you should be doing what you love because you're really good at it all right so Uh, what do we want to do next with this? <laughs> well, you're welcome. You've never been anything but kind to me. Why would I be anything other than that to you? You're a sweet person. You deserve sweetness. Um... Uh, I definitely am going to want you to do some art for our channel and stuff as we go along. But I don't want to overwork you either. And you can always feel free to say, I uh, don't have time for that, I'm sorry. Because, I mean, I can't pay you yet. But listen, if I had money, I'd pay you in a heartbeat. So never think that talent's not good enough. Game companies are really hard to get into. I can tell you that because I tried for many years, and I am a I am a very top level programmer. But they are tough to get into. You got to know somebody or know somebody who knows somebody. So don't let that stop you if you can't get into a game company. And I've heard there a lot of them are really not fun to work for anyway because of the hours and the stuff. Yeah. So what I would say is search for a different way to get well known with that and let the game companies come searching for you because they recognize your talent. Then you have uh, much more negotiating power for your salary as well. But you just keep going and get known, and you find ways to put your stuff out there in front of people. Yeah, well, I mean, it is. It takes a lot of hard work. You've certainly got the talent. There's no reason you can't. Just trimming that up a bit. I'm sticking out a little much. Oh. All right, so now the next thing I want to do here is kind of get some some rocks growing up the side here. I want it just to kind of look like it's just growing up this thing. So I'm going to have to do a little, little creative sculpting here, I think. <laughs> do this actually yeah it looks amazing it's incredible isn't it
All right, so we're going to do a little, I need these kind of bent around, so I'm just going to compress the insides a little bit so they fit kind of good on here. And we're just going to, we're just going to force this in here and make it work. Oh, well, that's broken, but that's okay, because honestly, it's going to get a little carved up anyway. So I'm just going to start sticking these things on the side there. And you know what? I don't even care. That's just what I'm going to do. And if you don't like it, too bad. Mm, where's my paper towel? I made a bit of a mess. Well, by the time I find it, it's going to be too late. Okay. We'll still be here. Tell your friend I said good night. All right. Now, let's just keep going with this. We just need some scrap. How do I want to do this? I'm just going to put scrap around here and then we'll carve into it later. so we can, yeah, that'll work. I mean, I really don't know what this is going to look like, but we just go until, you know, till it looks right. And that'll be good. Right, chat? Sure. Just the way it goes. Hmm. Let's see, maybe this piece will work here. It will work there. But it's kind of. up as I go along chat. I, I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. But it's going to be fun, whatever it is. Ow, that's hot. That wasn't fun. Feeling that piece. That's a good piece. Oh, need another glue stick. Where'd I put him? Hello. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Ah. Ah. when I do that. That hurts. OK. 
Okay. Getting there. Let's put a few more on. Let's see what we got here. Anything that works? Hey, that works. I like it. We'll go with that. I'm basically just taking the scraps that I cut off of the base and seeing if I can fit them back on here. And I figure... And then we'll just carve a little bit to make it kind of look like it's part of the base coming up out and growing onto this tower. That'll be pretty cool. I, well, I think anyway. I think that'll look pretty good. Um... Nah. See, that's too big. Let's... Oop. There we go. Hey, that'll actually work pretty well. I like it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle without a picture. Puppers are leaving soon. Over, just, just okay. Alright, so this one. Oh, perfect fit. Look at that. I love it. Good. All right, so I gotta get a little bit of something in there. Tip on your finger isn't good. All right, and yeah, there's some gaps in here, but we'll cover that up with some other stuff. Don't worry. Just, but we're just trying to get basic structure going here. Once these are all good and tight, all right, they're on there pretty good. Let's see. Maybe we can get another piece in here for some... Do I need another piece in here? Probably. Yeah, that looks a little, a little weak there, so we can... Except it's morning for us, but you know, whatever. Close enough. I'm gonna go take a nap after this, so could still be appropriate. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh. Wish I'd quit doing that. It doesn't feel good. Hey, Mama Noob. Did you see the um, sketches that Prodigy did for our? Oh, you gotta come see him. Okay, I need a minute. I gotta get them ready. Oh, she sounds so sick. Oh, that's right. So they they're leaving, so she's gotta get the all the puppy stuff ready to go. All right, let's see what we can do about carving this up. Where's my my knife go? Oh, it's right here. Duh. Right in front, front of my face. All right, so let's see if we can kind of blend this in.
So to blend this in, if we kind of cut both sides out, then it'll it'll kind of hide that seam a little bit. And we'll be doing some other stuff around here too. There's other rocks and things that are going to go on here, but this will this will kind of help to sell the illusion that this is one rock growing up out of the or the tower is kind of growing up out of this crop of rocks. kind of bust it up out of here and I'm really just you know what do I like what do I not like cut it down thirty nine Fahrenheit ooh nice that would that would be I would enjoy that weather wants to look at the sketches. Oop. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Whoa. I like how they still look like twins. <laughs> look at me. I know. It's incredible. Making it freaking me out a little bit. What is he? He's an elf of some sort, yes? I think I think he's no. He, I think he said he was going to be a. Um, he's got elf. a tiefling, right? That's still that's very similar to look of an elf. Yeah, they kind of. Well, I mean, they're kind of. They kind of are a little bit. Whoa, that's really good. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Better than I look in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, too slow to reply. Sorry, I was concentrating on Negative points. Other, I know. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I thought that top part was the bottom part. When you first put it together. Like oh. That, I thought it was the base. Of course it's not the base. No, I mean, Wizard's Towers always have that big bulbous thing at the top. Which is why I can't do art, because I can't see things like that ahead of the game. <laughs> So I actually enjoy this this carving bit. This is um, this is relaxing for me. Just making rocks. You realize it stresses me out too because you make that mess. Well, I try. To, <laughs> yeah, I know it stresses me out too. That that part, but I try not to pay attention to it. And I always clean it up. Yeah, but you clean it up like a man. So you well, think you get it all, but you don't. Uh, yes, I have a Dremel, actually, but Dremeling, and I do Dremel this stuff sometimes, but it makes a huge mess, so I have to do it outside, and seeing as it's about 350 million degrees out today, I'm not going out in my garage. Hey, um, are you going to go to intermission? I don't have to listen to him picking them up. What are you going to do? Uh, oh, what time is it? It's after 12. It's 12.15. Oh, jeez. Well, I think actually I'm probably going to call it soon. Well, if you are, you might want to do it sooner than later before it gets in your rush. I just want to see if I can finish these uh, rocks. Costume props like like um, cosplay things. Dremels are fantastic tools. I love Dremels. Yeah. 
Ooh, what kind of cosplay stuff have you done? be some barking here chat there's a car alarm going off outside somewhere and it's gonna drive the puppy crazy oh cool Such a mess. I don't like that bit there. It needs to come off. It's too sticky outy. I don't like it. It's a game? Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know I'm all about the games. I mean, you see this shelf behind me, right? A game like video game or board game? Did I hear bards? Uh huh. Does that mean you sing? Is it like karaoke? <laughs> if it's karaoke, you've got Mama Noob hooked. She's all about the singing. Yeah, should I try it now? <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Speak, peasant. Speak what? What did she say? She's on chat. Aren't you watching the stream? No, I'm. You don't sit around and watch. Stop. You don't sit around and watch my streams. Did you just answer me? Uh, she said it's a video game where you played as different bards, and it was essentially a rhythm game. Oh. It's kind of neat. The girls would enjoy that too. Where is that? Where can we play it? I want to play it. Girls want to play it. They love music games. Because they're all into music. And I mean, you know, Rhiannon is a bard, so. A little thing for school. Well, yeah, I, I get that. But how fun. I think it's going to have to be time for me to call it today. I mean, we're doing pretty good here. We've got this base coming. We'll, we'll keep fleshing this out next time. I'm going to make a little, I think, uh, sticky-outy thing. A little side tower here. We'll figure out what to do for the roof. Um, I'll get this... I'll try to finish doing the carving before next time so we can see how that comes out and we can get on with things. Um, and I'll figure out whether I'm going to do this part or not. Um, and I don't know how much dry time we'll have, but like I said, I've got the the ruins I want to do kind of waiting in the wings. So if we end up with some dry time, we will uh, we'll just do that. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for being here and hanging out with me. Um, 
I really had a lot of fun. I think this is coming along pretty well. I'm I'm really enjoying this, and I'm I'm liking how this is coming out. Uh, but we have to go say goodbye to our to our doggies because um, their owners are coming, and I'm making a huge mess that I got to clean up. And uh, really appreciate you guys being here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, mash all the buttons, ding all the bells, you know how it goes. And until next time, build on.